Hi guys, this is Michelle at my everyday wife life and I have another cook and clean video for you as well as a Thanksgiving prep. I am prepping my house for Thanksgiving by getting it all cleaned up and I finally get to that sweet potato cranberry bake that I've been promising you. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and I would love to have you subscribe, so don't forget to click that subscribe button, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. So I kind of got a late start today, so you can see it is one o'clock in the afternoon, and these are my beautiful new towels uh, that I got this year. I saw it off of somebody's account on Instagram, and yeah, I got them off of Amazon if you're interested. I'll put the link down below. So I did a small grocery run this morning. I just wanted to get a few things and hubby and I had a craving for um, bacon again. So I got my almond milk and Publix had the soft baked Cassidian Farm granola bars, buy one, get one free. And the chicken was buy one, get one free. So I picked up some breast and some thighs and I bought this gluten-free um, pie crust. I'm gonna try that out since I need to be gluten-free. Now you guys know I like late July chips and I thought these were the bacon habanero um, chips, but they're not, they're the hot mojo chips. So I'll have to try them, but I really did like the bacon habanero chips, so I recommend them. All right, so I ran to the store for bacon because hubby and I had a craving again for bacon. It was so good. The other day we actually don't eat that much bacon but um yeah this will be it for a while so i made him some breakfast and i made myself some breakfast and i'm gonna sit here and relax for a little bit before i get started okay i got a little sucked into youtube and so several hours later i finally get up my butt off the couch and put some jazz music on and get started with my day. I'm going to start with my jelly chores, which is making the bed. Okay, today I'm supposed to be working in zone one, which is the master bedroom area, but I decided to skip it because zone two really needed more attention. And um, also too, it is actually Thursday and zone this zone is supposed to be on Friday, but I'm going to go hang out with my friend Sybil, which I have not seen since March. We had a very nice visit. I spent uh, most of the day there and uh, yeah, scary case is a mess. That's hubby. And uh, we swam in the pool and so it was very nice. And yeah, the laundry room is a mess too. All I have to do today is one load of laundry, so not too bad. I'm still using these dryer balls. I'll put the link down below if you're interested. And I did start using the seventh generation um, dryer sheets just cause I don't know. We were still itching from our water problems, so we needed our clothes to be a little softer. So I'm just gonna finish up the bathroom and finish up the rest of the house. Okay, I need to take a break and drink more water. And I am doing, still doing my drink up buttercup water challenge on Facebook and on my Instagram, but I kind of got off of track for a couple of days and wasn't tracking my water or even drinking enough water. So I'm back on track today just because I missed a couple of days doesn't mean that I can just quit and give up and say, oh, forget it. No, just get back on track and uh, start again and finish the challenge. And that's what I'm gonna do. And that's what you should do too.
Okay, while I am taking my water break, I'm looking around the room and looking at some things that need done when I do this zone, which is the ceiling fan and the windows need cleaned and yeah, the carpet needs steam cleaned and the slider needs cleaned too. And at some point I have to take the covers down of the AC vents because they are just, they're rusting or something. I don't know. We've been running the air really cold this summer. So maybe some condensation got on that. So I'm gonna have to get on the ladder and get those down and spray paint those. Okay, continuing on to um, my daily chores and that would be straighten up the whole house and do dishes encounter so I'm going to do that okay it should really be more like straight in the main areas of the house if I can get to the whole house I will but uh, didn't really happen today okay my kitchen desk has really gotten out of hand but unfortunately that doesn't happen in this video either hopefully the next video stay tuned Okay, on this day, my back is still a little sore from my 20-mile bike ride last week. So, I don't know, put my big girl panties on and I am putting on my um, shoes. I don't usually wear shoes. I usually like to go barefoot, but I my back is killing me, so I need to do that. Plus, I put on the shapewear um, camisole, which really does help support my back while I am cleaning. So I got the kitchen pretty much cleaned up. So check that off my list. Okay, I'm taking another break and I'm going to drink my water and I'm going to watch a little Kimmy on She's in Her Apron. Okay, the zone two dining room and library and entryway area never got done. So moving on to making this sweet potato cranberry bake. Okay, I'm gonna make hubby some tacos because he requested it and I'm going to eat the leftover chicken from uh, the other night that you saw me roast. I put cumin and chili powder into the tacos and some salt and pepper. And I cut up two sweet potatoes. The recipe called for four, but I am just testing this out. Plus, I am trying to make it vegan. So I'm using pecans instead of walnuts. The recipe called for walnuts and cranberries. And I'm not using brown sugar. I'm going to try to use honey instead. And I'm going to try to use the vegan butter. This is new to me. And some cinnamon. And I cut up the um, sweet potatoes into chunks. And I cut up the um, pecans into chunks too. You can actually get this recipe online. I will put the link down below. So I don't know, I changed it up because, I don't know, I thought the way they did this is kind of weird. They wanted you to cook the potatoes first, um, steam them, whatever, for like 20 minutes and then peel the sweet potatoes um, after you cooked them and then slice them. I don't know, I felt that was too many steps. Whenever I make sweet potato casserole, we just chunk them and bake them. But you'll see in the end, it didn't really turn out. It took forever for those sweet potatoes to cook. So what I would suggest, if you don't wanna do what the recipe says, you could cook the sweet potatoes first for a little bit in the oven because the sweet potatoes take longer than the cranberries. So next time I do that, I'm going to do that and then take it back out and then add the cranberries and the pecans and whatnot. And she also told you to layer them and I didn't. Um, I just kind of mixed it all together with a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> so next time when I make them, I will um, cook, like I said, cook the sweet potatoes first for a little bit and then take them out and I will mix the cranberries, the walnuts and the honey and the melted butter and the orange juice in a bowl and then pour them over the top of the sweet potatoes. I think that will work. I suggest maybe if you're not vegan and you want, you could just follow the recipe the way they had it. I don't know, I still, let me know in the comments below. I just thought that was weird to 
cook the sweet potatoes first, steam them like in a pot or whatever it said, and then peel them and then cut them. I'm thinking, weren't they gonna be mushy after that? I don't know, anyways. And this is why I don't cook on film too much because apparently I can't chew gum and talk at the same time. So <laughs> I can't cook and film at the same time. So I was supposed to put some olive oil in the pan first before you put the mixture in there. And so I dumped it out and put some olive oil in, dumped everything back in. So the recipe called for quite a bit of um, brown sugar and I didn't want to use brown sugar for one. I wanted to use honey, but the cranberries are really tart and that definitely was not enough honey that I put in there. So I'm either going to have to use more honey next time or um, use go ahead and use some brown sugar. So I melted the vegan cashew butter and poured it over the top and now I'm just stirring it up and like I said next time I won't do that I will just do the cranberry walnut mixture and put it over the top and see how that works and then I forgot to add the orange juice so here I am doing this I'm a hot mess today. Okay, I go ahead and stick that in the oven. I believe it was for 40 minutes. So you're supposed to cook the original recipe for 20 minutes. You're supposed to cook to 30 minutes to cook the potatoes and then cook it another 30, 40 minutes. Ah, that just didn't seem right. Anyway, moving on. It's in the oven and I am cutting up some or shredding some cheese for hubby for his um, tacos. And I am used to use my KitchenAid mixer with the shredder attachment. But that just got to be too much and so uh, too much of a chore to get the KitchenAid down out of the pantry. And so I have bought this little KitchenAid um, handy chopper. I'm not really sure what it, it's called. I use it to chop up onions and other things too sometimes. So I'm going to just shred enough cheese for this week and um, that's what I'm going to do here. Now I'm just cutting up some onions and tomatoes for hubby's tacos. Okay, I realized I forgot the cinnamon in the um, sweet potato bake, cranberry bake. So I pulled it out of the oven to add some cinnamon and put it back in. Okay, this is the leftover chicken. I'm gonna heat that up and have that with the sweet potato cranberry break. It's still cooking. Just taking a little water break and a massager break and hanging out with hubby. Hey guys, tomorrow I am going to be doing a collab with my friend Christy at Inspired Living with Christy. Both of us are doing a cook and clean video. I will actually be making that car salted caramel cappuccino cheesecake, so stay tuned. Okay, so I take the sweet potato casserole out of the oven and everything is done except for the sweet potatoes. So that's why you have to pre-cook them a little bit, but um, I don't want to do that whole steam and peel them thing. So I'll just cook the sweet potatoes separate, like I said, 
and then take them out and then add the cranberries and the um, walnuts or pecans, whichever you prefer. I just thought pecans would go better with this. And uh, yeah, I'm just made myself a little dish of this. Um, it looks pretty good, but it is way too tart. So it definitely needs more sugar. I was just trying to avoid adding too much sugar. So, but the vegan butter tasted really good in this recipe. So I'm just going to watch some TV with hubby and chill out. Okay, so sometimes things just don't turn out as you like, so it's time to hang up your apron and go to bed. Anyway, I will try this recipe again. If you try this recipe, let me know in the comments below how it turned out for you. Until next time, guys, enjoy your day. See my face right there? Click on it and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And see those links right there? You can click on them too and watch those videos now.